Hello everybody and welcome back to the last video in the man in the middle attack section. Now we will cover the usage of EtherCap which is a tool that comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. So let us get started. Now this tool has two interfaces. One is the interface over terminal so basically command line interface and the other one is the GUI interface. Now you can access the command line interface just by typing EtherCap and it will give you your available options. Now it asks you to select interface, uh, so you can do that, but right now what I want to show you is the GUI interface. They have some differences, but they are the same tool, so. Now you can find the GUI interface going to the sniffing, spoofing, and then you go to the EtherCap, which is right here. This is the graphical user interface. You click on it and it should open up the tool. Now we will not cover the tool in great details, we will only cover some of the options available right here. So let us get started. Now what you want to do, basically first of all, uh, you want to go to the file, sniff and choose type of sniffing. So what you want to do is choose unified sniffing, most likely. Uh, in some other cases you might want to choose bridge sniffing, but right now we'll go with unified. And here you can select your network interface. Now I only have the ETH0. If you ha have your wireless network card adapter connected, you can select it right here if you want to use that one. Right now I will just go with the ATH0, so just click here OK. And right here we can see down, down there started unified sniffing. Now what you want to do right after this is basically go to the hosts and you want to scan for all the hosts on the local area network. So scan for the hosts, it will scan all possible 255 hosts and it will show you which hosts are currently up on your local network. It will say 4 hosts added to the host lists. Now we to access the host lists you basically just go here hosts and then hosts list. Here you will have the all of the devices that are currently connected and online on your local area network. As we can see, uh, let me just check out what is the IP address of my uh, of my Windows 10 machine, it is dot one dot three. This one is my laptop, and this one I believe is my Kali Linux machine. Since there isn't really any else much any else machine on the network currently. Now, what you want to do uh, after this? Let's say we want to target our Windows 10 machine, so we want to ARP spoof the Windows 10 machine. What you want to do is basically click on the uh, router and then add it to the target. One. So add router to the target one and it will say right here host 192.168.1 added to target one. Then what you want to do is choose your Windows 10 machine which in, or basically any other machine you want to ARP spoof and choose right here add it to target two. And then let me just see where it is. View targets, current targets right here. And here you will have the list of the targets. Now what you want to do after this, basically let me just go to the filter, I believe it is right, no, it's not right here. You can go to the resolve IP addresses. And what you want to do after this is basically go to the man in the middle, which is this right here, and choose ARP poisoning. This will ask you if you want to sniff remote connections on only pause in one way. The, right now we want to sniff remote connections. Click here OK and you will see that the ARP spoofing has started. Now everything that your targets or your target actually types in any HTTP website will be shown right here. So if it visits an HTTP website and tries to log into some page, you will uh, see the username and password in clear text right here. So. Now, another thing you can do is basically, let me just see uh, where is the plugin, manage the plugin, so just click here on manage the plugins and here you have a few type of plugins that you can add, for example, DNS spoof, send spoof DNS replies, you can also run DOS attack and you can run all of the other attacks as well. Now I believe this is the, here is the SSL strip as well as in the previous tool, so you can roll the SSL strip as well, and this basically performs uh, the same as e the previous tool that we covered. So if I were to 
for example, visit an HTTP page and log in, for example, it will be showed right here. Now, that is the simple use of this tool. If you want to, you can try out all of these plugins right here, but there are really most of them are not really that important, uh, or most of them are actually only there for you to specify a more detailed attack. Uh, this will do its job for now on. You can, you might want to add the SSL strip and DNS spoofing later on, but we already did that in the previous tool. Uh, we will not be doing that in this tool as well. And I just wanted to show you how this tool works and that would be it about this tutorial. Uh, so in this section we covered the man in the middle framework. We uh, showed how to download it, how to use it. We ran some different types of the attacks, such as for example, randomizing images, then using screenshotter, then ARP spoofing, DNS spoofing, and we captured the usernames and passwords on HTTPS websites as well as on, uh, as well as on HTTP while performing the SSL strip. And those could be some of the useful attacks that you can perform on your local network. Now these attacks do not work on the outside of your local network, so they only work for all the targets on your wireless network or on your basically connect that are connected to a router. And in the next section, we will start learning system hacking. So we will, for example, learn the Metasploit framework in great details. We will learn some of the exploits for that. We will hack Windows as well as Linux. And then after that, we will also hack some of the Android devices and iOS devices with another tool. So that would be about it for this section. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you in the next section where we will start system hacking. Hope I see you there and take care. Bye.